lovely morning. It's minus seven. The truck with all of our furniture arrived from North Carolina more than an hour early. Awesome. And the best part is that they can't back down the driveway, apparently. So they are on the road and our crew is currently unpacking the truck piece by piece, putting it into a pickup, driving the pickup down the road, and then taking it into the house. So the move just got a little bit more challenging than we had hoped. And look, it's dumping snow. This is gonna be fun. Time to put some warm clothes on. Okay, so here's the scene, truck. Pickup truck, chalet, good times. Um, That's a mighty long truck. I was gonna say welcome to Canada, but you know, you're from here. Okay. Do you see all that? Yes. Somehow we have to get all of that into the chalet. Well, I didn't order it. <laughs> Uh, we're going to need a bigger chalet. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design, and I'm sharing it with you. Today is another chapter in my design life. We finally reached the end of a 53-foot trailer, and we're trying to unearth the rugs. Because the first thing that goes down in any room is the rug. So we have all of the furniture for the entire house <laughs> sitting out in the snow while we try and get the foundation for the rooms in. I'm just going to share a little Ooh. tip with you. If you're moving and you're packing a truck, ask them to put the rugs on last. Never first. Rugs last, so they come off first. And then they go down. But are we having fun, guys? Woo. Woo. Yeah. But it wasn't always this crazy. A couple of days ago, I got some great news about the railings. What happened at the beginning is I came in and I did not like the wood railings that we had. And so we removed them all and then we had this quoted for custom glass. And I'm gonna be honest and say that the price was um, more than anybody anticipated and also more than we have available in this budget. And this is where Paul from Invisirail comes in. So we have standard panels, we've got 23 sizes in standard increments of 23 uh, sizes of uh, this is in stock ready to go glass ready to go ready ready from 11 and 7 8 up to um, 69 and 3 8 is the glass size wow we can go on a six foot on center yeah no top rail or bottom rail that's amazing so, so what this, does that mean here for me so that's one piece of glass so you're looking at roughly three hundred dollars so I can put one piece of glass In between here, that span, yes. And I'm going to get four of these clips. Four of those clips. One piece of glass. One piece and of how glass. much? $300. Uh, okay, I'll sign up for that. Yes. And then what am I doing here? Here we have a, obviously we can see this is longer than six feet. So we have yep. to have a mid post installation. Yep. But again, we take the post out. We use two clips, two clips, a double clip here for two sheets of glass. Right. It's roughly $50 a foot for the glass. This guy is $300, solid stainless steel. You feel the weight of that. Wow. So That's an exercise routine. It is. Okay. Okay. Again, no top and bottom rail needed. Are the pieces that you have actually going to work perfectly with the size that I have? There's four spacers available, <sighs> one eighth to one inch. So you will always have room to make up that difference with the spacer blocks. This is stainless steel. Yes. And then I could also do... Those are powder coated aluminum. Okay. Matte black and then powder coated aluminum and white. White. And I'm guessing that the aluminum is less expensive than the stainless. These are roughly $125 as opposed to $300. Wow. Well, I'd say for the number that we need, I think it's definitely worth spending the money to get stainless, because I think that's going to look super sharp. Yes, it does. Can people do this themselves? If the person is capable of using a measuring tape down to the eighth of an inch, okay. they can do this with reading the instructions. So if you paid attention in fifth grade math, <laughs> you should be able to do it yourself. And if you can't measure in one eighth increments, you should go back to grade five. Correct. Correct. So that takes care of this section. What do we do about the stairs? Can I get, do you have in-stock stairs? No, the stairs are all custom panels. Okay. 
because every rise and run or every stair everywhere is different. Right. So some stairs are 35 degrees, some are 43 degrees. Right. So the post application is the same, but the glass is now a parallelogram. So every stair is custom glass. So this guy goes here and then in between, that's where the glass gets measured. Mm -hmm. so yeah. This guy here, sorry. Yeah. Fits over the post. Yeah. At a set height, so you're code approved, and you can move up and down. And then the secondary handrail. This guy? Yes, will get attached. Okay. So in terms of what we're doing here, the five pieces that I need for the enclosure are in stock, ready to go, install them anytime. And then how, what do we do for the stairs? You install the, the fascia mount posts. Yeah. You measure the glass, and then a week later, you come back, install the glass, and it's done. Awesome. What are you waiting for? Let's measure this and let's get this installed because I think this is genius. Do you think it's going to look good? It's going to look, it's going to kick this place off very it's nicely. It's going to kick it off. It's going to finish it off. We, we kicked it off a while ago and we really need to take it across the finish line now. So, ooh! It's an oak floor that we've installed here, which is very durable. And uh, let's just hope I didn't dent it. We've got a plan for the railings, but there's a ton of other stuff to do before we can get the furniture in here. Let's see if I can sum it up for you in 60 seconds. Ready for progress report? In this room, the girls' room, we're gonna install a mural. In the boys' room, we are halfway through wallpaper installs. So we need to finish that. And we have a pair of very funky, very teal beds. In the sauna bath, we've got some tile install happening. So this is a bit of a disaster. In the laundry and mechanical room, we have cabinetry, counters, and a sink to go in. In the mud room, well, it's currently got the laundry. The media room is getting a light put up and is midway through wallpaper install. In the guest room, we are almost done wallpaper install. If you're looking for chilled food, it's currently happening right in the living room. In the kitchen, the backsplash is going in. In the bar, this is gonna be beautiful and I can't wait for it to be finished because guess what I could use right now? You guessed it, I could use a drink. Do you get the theme here? There's something happening in every room. That's 60 seconds and this place is a hive of activity. Meatballs, Swedish meatballs, and veggies and rice. I guess I'm the only one eating. Too busy. Don't worry, Steve. I've got something special for you. I'm gonna go in this room where it's nice. This is the second one. This is our mural for the girls' room from Minted.com. You want to bring it into the lock? Yeah. Okay. See? That's. <laughs> okay. uh... Then we have this next one. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Connects to this one. Nope. This one. Connects to that one. Yep. And then. And P.S. I love puzzles. Okay, that looks good. And this is the last one. Yep. That's it. And then that one. Yep. There. Wow. I like it. I think it's perfect. Tomorrow's the big day because tomorrow a giant truck of furniture is coming. And this tomorrow will be, you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is gonna be the very first time that my new furniture collection has been used. That's exciting. We have a truck that is on the road now, driving from North Carolina to come here. And look at this. Don't be alarmed. We still have a refrigerator and a stove in the middle of the living room and a dishwasher and a microwave. But Chris, this is almost done. Almost. Fireplace went in. The fireplace went in. Want to come see the fireplace? Let's go see a fireplace. Okay, game changer in the media room is that we have installed, and when I say we, I mean I had nothing to do with it. These gentlemen today installed this fabulous gas insert from Enviro. I am over the moon delighted with this insert because Look at how contemporary this surround is. It has this seamless charcoal gray steel surround. And then can I, let me see if I paid attention and understood 
what you told me. Okay, so I'm gonna go to options, watch this. Options, lighting is on max. Check this out. See those lights at the bottom? See that glowing natural beauty? Now I can turn it down. Or I can turn it up a little bit. How cool is that? We have a lot of highlights from today. I cannot even believe what we have accomplished in the last two days, even in the last couple of months. Uh, lots of highlights from the last day. Mm, when low light is the low light level, thanks to this awesome copper fixture that is totally not working. So we have fixed the lighting situation in the entire chalet and then destroyed it in this room. It is way too dark in here and I need to find a new light fixture. So that's on the agenda for tonight. And you remember what happened next. In case you're wondering and thinking, Sarah, I didn't know you were a mover. Today, everybody's a mover. The carpenters are movers, the camera guy's a mover, the designer's a mover. You know why? Because the truck only has a driver, not an unloader. And so everybody did their part to help us get moved. Steve, you're killing me. So there's too much furniture. Here's what happened. I ordered too much furniture because it was a one-shot deal at getting all of my stuff sent up from North Carolina. So I thought, well, you never know what you're gonna need. And what we now need is a whole other house because we have so much furniture here. Fortunately, I've bought another house. So I got a place for all of this. It's just gonna be interesting to see how it all comes together. Anyway, this is the media room. Do you need a lamp? Whoa, wait a minute. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Ladies are busy in here. Wave, say hi. Tommy's room, this room's a mess. Let's not go in this room. No, not the Tommy you're thinking of. Tommy who lives here. Sneak peek at the living room. Things are looking much different up here. Look at this giant, mega sectional. How's this for relaxing? That is not on the agenda for any of us today, but this is ready. I'd say this is apres ready. We just need to put it all together properly. 